The second business in human resource which I want to talk about is our managed services business. In our managed services business, we were formerly only supplying people. Today, we take responsibility for the jobs they do. So, how many of you Delhi residents here? Wow, so many of them. Staying in your own houses, I guess. Have you paid your meter bill for the last month? Like this people? You're sure? Not very confident that. <laughs> Fine, we'll give it to you that you paid that you paid electric people. So previously we were supplying people to BSES to come home and meter for you. You know, they would just they would come from BSES, they would produce the meter and give you the bill and go away. But they were doing it under the supervision of BSES itself. What we're doing right now is that we are doing meeting services ourselves. So we've gone up from just being a supplier of people to be To make a service provider. That's that right. Actually, you guys are much brighter than what you're looking actually. You, know, you guys are coming up with answers for every question. So we bring a supplier of services. So every time we give a quest, every every time we go to a house now, we are able to give a bill, collect money sometimes for that. We, uh, when Kesri Wall was in power, we ran into problems. <laughs> we ran into serious problems. You know, it's uh, Politically incorrect thing to talk about today when you are getting into an election mode, but just for the humor of it, I have to say that one of our guys was uh, caught by an Ahmadi guy and asked to explain why he's bidding so much because the meter showed so much. But he can't do anything about it, the meter showed, showed so much. You know? So that's something that happens, but what do you do? But you know, in the state of Bihar today, uh, you, you would associate Bihar today with being non progressive or not so progressive, let's say, as other states are. We have today is talking to us very actively about running meter reading services and ensuring collections happen for the entire state. That's also these are insights into the new emerging India today. You know, you it's not the development is not only happening in Gujarat or in Tamil Nadu or in Karnataka or in Maharashtra. You find today states that you previously never heard about reaching out to companies like us to come and do these jobs. So they heard about the work that we're doing in Delhi. So now we've got inquiries from Gujarat, from Goa, from other cities. And this is, this is a very promising area for us. Because you have to, you know, uh, the closest example I keep telling my colleagues in my office is this. You know, it's the example of a mother-in-law. You know? She first gets into your kitchen, gets one foot into the door. Then she runs your kitchen and then she runs your, what, your daily menu. And it's, then she runs the supply chain the and everything else that comes in. Then she has a little more say in the kids' education, everything else. My mother in law did the same thing, I think. So, so I, I'm talking about it from personal experience, no hard feelings to anybody here. But that's very like how business is run. You have to get in and get one foot into the door. And then you do other things inside the company. So we first get into the electricity space and start supplying people for meter reading. Then we do meter reading ourselves. Now we're looking at energy optimization services. Where you know, if you take today transmission and distribution in India, one third of the power that we actually transmit today is lost. One third of the power means we produce 100 megawatts of power. By the time it reaches here, 33 megawatts of it is lost. All of the 60 megawatts of power that's actually consumed, you lose another 20 to 25 percent for non billable reasons. So, if net net, less than 40 to 45 percent, some states is even poorer, 40 to 45 percent of the power that you produce can actually be built and collected. Look at the volume of look at the volume of work that's pending to be done in the power industry, and that's where I think we have this big opportunity in, uh, in managed services. Managed services is a big area, you know, it's a large area. It's not just it's not just power industry. Another example I'll give is Samsung. Uh, Samsung, we supply people who, who actually uh, most probably if you go to a shop to buy how many Samsung phone owners there? One, two, three, four, five, six, in a class of about sixty people. What well, is it? 15 to 18 people. This is about one fourth of the class here has Samsung phones, which means about represents 25 percent of market share. I mean, if you just take this as a sample, Samsung about five years back had a program. You know, they were they were second, third, fourth, fifth in the market rankings. Nokia was right on top. Then BlackBerry, incidentally, a company that we are also connected to, was in the market very strong. Samsung wanted to become number one. They took about a thousand people. From us in, in initially, which number became 6,000 and now is about 10,000 people. So, most probably the 25 20 people here who, who went to a shop to buy a Samsung phone actually bought that phone from an IKEA employee. You know, the employee there who's selling you the phone is an, is an IKEA guy. So, we are managing the sales of Samsung. 
We're managing, we're managing that to a certain extent. So that's managed service again. Another one is uh, we're doing, you know, if you drive out of this campus, you go and look at telecom towers. You'll find white panels and dishes, white dishes on these towers. So these dishes have to be installed and maintained. Previously, we were providing technicians for the network services company to do the installation maintenance. Today, we're doing it ourselves. We're doing it ourselves. Then the next stage after this is network services management. We have to manage the network services from a NOC, from a network operations center. So this is going higher up. So slowly we you, you find you take the mother law approach. You know, we're getting in one foot into the door, we supply people, we first do something very simple, and then we do something more complex. So that's really that's really what that's really what we're doing in, in, in managed services.